Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, I understand our question. The program has to accept the integer n and the program must print yes if it is possible to form n by the following conditions. That is, the initial value must be 3 or 5. Then it can be modified by two operations. Operation 1 is multiply by 3 and operation 2 is added by 5. And if it is not possible to form, should print no. We'll take our first test case. So here, your n is 19 and initial values must be 3 or 5 so 3 is not equal to our integer 19 so we'll perform this operation so we'll multiply by 3 first so we get 9 then also we are not getting the integer so we'll add it by 5 so we get 14 but the required integer is 19 so again we'll multiply by 3 and let's see what we get so we get 27 plus 5 which is 32 so other than multiply by 3 we'll add again 5 so now 9 plus 5 plus 5 that is 90 so we have got 90 so we'll print yes as the output now we'll take our another test case so here first let us take the initial values 3 multiplied by 3 which is 9 then we'll add 5 which gives 14 and then if we multiply by 3 or if we add 5 to it we'll get the values greater than 16 so we'll print no as the output now let us implement our program first we'll get our input the integer n and then we'll have a while loop while n greater than 0 if n is equal to equal to 3 or n equal to equal to 5 then we must print yes as the output and use break and in the if n mod 3 is equal to equal to 0 means then n will be modified as n double slash equal to 3 and else part n will be minus equal to 5 now if these condition doesn't satisfy in the else part we'll have we have print no as the output so now let us execute our program. We'll pass our first test case. So yes, we have got the correct output. Now we'll pass our another test case. So here also we have got the correct output. Our program has passed all our given test cases successfully. Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.